Whitehorse. We are here, of course, for the long list 2016 announcement of Polaris. It is raining terribly, and I, of course, only packed a K-Way. It is the Yukon, and I am a big city idiot. We are here at the SS Klondike, here in what is the thriving downtown Vegas strip of the Yukon. First, I'll say the Vegas strip is actually in Dawson City. The, the Reno of, of the Yukon. Reno. We are here at Yukon Brewing. They very graciously done a special bottle for Polaris. We actually outsell uh, the big guys in draft beer combined. We've been so adopted by the people who live here, it's ridiculous. I don't know what we did to deserve it. And we can always sneak you a little sample if you like. But the Yukon attracts people with an individualistic nature, like, and there's lots of room to be yourself and to find your voice. And people re really respect authenticity in each other up here. This is a place where if you have a passion for something, and you work hard and treat people with respect, good things can happen. Well, there's always the allure to the Great White North. You know, we've got the land of the midnight sun. We do have a bit longer winter periods. And so when you've got nine months of sort of hibernation, um, you band together as a community, a musical, artistic community. There's better jam sessions, better house parties. We created the shop just so that there was a, a hub, if you will, for, for culture and arts and music um, in my hometown. The thing that really struck me when I first got here was how much music there was going on and how much cool stuff was happening here. Um, music and art wise. Is it a challenge though, like the physical geography of it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. People tour the communities up here, yeah. and that's, that's cool and meaningful in its own way. It's not a way to make it or develop your career. That's like engaging with the local communities, which is really an important thing to do yeah. up here too. We're standing in front of what I assume is the world's largest weather vane. Well, I can tell you that we weren't able to get it in the Guinness Book of Records. It's an ongoing project because there's different definitions to big, it turns out. <laughs> oh, look, there's a fox in the parking lot. That is this, like the size of a horse. That's this massive. Now, we've had the most incredible few days in Whitehorse. It's a vibrant, creative, and wonderful environment you have here. Your support for the creative arts industries are obvious and heartfelt. All right, enough of that. On to the list, uh, see you in the hashtags, everyone.